Okay, so the Caspian Caber Gold Cup and uh, James Batten for a start. Yeah, well, at the moment, your favourite is rather be for Nicky Henderson. A three to one at the moment. You have Baron Alco at eleven to two. Frodon and Warsound are both at nine to one, and it's ten to one bar. What are you liking this, James? Uh, I have it narrowed down to two, and the one I like is War Sound for Philip Hobbs and Richard Johnson. It's up ten pound for winning at Aintree, but it was so impressive that day. It's up to one four six now, but it's one four four over hurdles, and he was always going to make a better chaser. The format at Aintree win has worked out really well because the four tone that day was Warrior's Tail, who won the Grand Sefton last weekend. He's only had nine starts over fences. He was, f I think, he was second in five of those, and he's chased home some proper good horses. So he has. I think he's still unexposed over fences. I think he's the potential to be a 155 horse over fences. And if he is, I think he's got a cracking chance here. He's only ran once at uh, he's only ran once at um, at Cheltenham and he disappointed. But I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. I think he needs to go left handed. And uh, yeah, he's he's the one for me. I think the favourite is quite solid. Rather be. Yeah. I think he'll be in the first three, but he's priced accordingly. And at, is it nine to one war sound? Yeah. War sound nine. Yeah, to one, I yeah. think that's cracking each way back. What about you, Johnny? I like the tar piece. Um, I, he's probably more of a place bet in a way than a win bet because there are other more unexposed horses in the race. I hate the fact it's a 15 runner handicap. When he won the race last year, there were only 12 in it. Um, but he won it well that, that year. Mm -hmm. He's five or six pounds higher um, and he's basically, he's stable. Nicky Richards, his last seven runners going into today, six of them won. It's astonishingly yeah, it's good form. Um, he ran a cracker in his prep for this, obviously. You'd have to say rather be on the base of how he was travelling. Probably would have beaten him. But he knows this course like the back of his hand. He's by Dark Angel, so not surprising. He does like good ground. He's he's He doesn't really look like a chaser, but he's really honest. He used to be trained by Desi Hughes, the late Desi Hughes. And with the stable in such form, I think he's he's not flashy. Um, rather be is probably the horse to be. War sound. The way he won at Aintree, you'd have to give him a huge chance. Because that, that run was slightly out of the blue. Like, it didn't look no. like he was progressive enough not to win that. Not if you watch What's the Word that he, week, Johnny. He, well, <laughs> it was maybe to win by the amount he did. He does travel well in his races, to be fair. I, I could definitely see him run a big race. Um, Cas Tete isn't completely out of it either. He's 33 mm. to 1. Um, his jumping would be a cause for concern. But, like, he's, he's still relatively relatively unexposed he's only a six-year-old by polyglot and um, but i think guitar pete won a big race he probably won't win but i'd be very disappointed if he's not in the first four anyway and he'll probably be fourth and you'll back <laughs> that's what we want horses <laughs> yeah. that probably won't win <laughs> yeah well in in, in all of these individually win. probably know, yeah. won't win yeah. but he, he i think he's very he's probably Definitely the best place bet in the race what price he, he's like 10 to 1 thereabouts so i think he'll run a big big race and well, the stable form is astonishing at the moment yeah that's a that, that is a massive boost <laughs>